So today we're going to build a deal with it meme generator using Python and face detection. So we'll take in an input image like the one on the left and you'll see there's three really good forward facing faces. We'll detect those forward facing faces and then we'll take in a image with glasses in it and then scale and rotate them to fit every face. We'll then animate the glasses coming in from off the screen in order to get out a meme like you see on the right. So let's get started. So our data flow looks like this. We first open up an image, convert it to grayscale, pass it to Dlib's face detector, and if there are faces detected, we'll, we'll send it to a prediction model in order to get a predicted position of our eyes. We'll then scale and rotate a glasses image in order to fit those eyes position. Finally, once we know our final position for the glasses, we'll generate a GIF to animate those glasses falling into that final position from the top of the image. Visually, this is what it looks like. We first convert our image to grayscale, detect faces, and get back these bounding boxes. And then finally, we get back a predicted shape. One thing to note here is that there's a set of points for both the left and right eyes. Those are the main features we'll use to determine how big our glasses should be and where they should be positioned on the face. All right, so before we can begin, we're going to need to set up a few files on our system. The first thing I've done is created a transparent PNG where I've taken the glasses I want to paste onto people's faces. The next thing I've done is found an image with some very good straightforward faces. You'll notice there's one of these faces here where the person is looking to the side. Since we'll be using Dlib's frontal face detector, this person facing sideways won't be detected. Next, I created a transparent text PNG where I've written deal with it with a white font and a black stroke. This should help it pop no matter what the background colors are in an image. Finally, you'll need to download Dlib's 68-point shape predictor. It's available at Davis King's Dlib-models repository, and the one you'll want to download is the shape predictor 68 face landmarks. I've already downloaded and unzipped that. With that, let's jump into the code. So the first thing we do is import Dlib, and pillow libraries image. We also use argparse in order to take in a image from the command line. We'll need numpy and imutils face utils in order to convert the images into a format readable by Dlib. We also import moviepy's editor as mpy as we'll need it to create our animated GIF once we've detected our faces. So the way dlib face detectors are created is with the dlib.get frontal face detector. We create the model for our predictor by passing in dlib shape predictor into the dlib shape predictor function. We then open all the images we'll be working with in our program. This includes the passed in image as our argument, and then the deals sunglasses, and then the text file we created. Next, we set a max width for our animated GIF. GIFs can get large pretty quickly, so if our user passes in a large image, we'll want to scale it down before writing to it. Next, we convert our input image into a grayscale image and then convert it to a numpy array. We then pass this numpy array to our original fa frontal face detector. If there are no faces found, we'll want to immediately exit the program. Otherwise, we print out the number of faces found in the source image and then say we're going to process it into a GIF. Dlib's frontal face detector returns a set of rectangles which are bounding boxes for the shape around the faces. For each of these sh faces, we'll pass the bounding box to a predictor that we loaded earlier. 
We then use the face utils shape to MP numpy function in order to get a numpy list of the positions for the left and right eyes. Afterwards, we use a slice from the 36th to 42nd element in order to grab the outline of the left eye. We do the same for the right eye using the 42nd to the 48th element. With these lists, we can then compute a center of mass for each of the eyes. NumPy's mean function allows us to compute the average. We then convert that into an integer for both the left and right eyes. With these two center points, we can then compute an angle between the eyes. This tells us how much the head is rotated so that we can match our glasses to fit the same rotation. With this rotation and bounding box, we can then resize and rotate our glasses to fit properly. However, because we use the arc tan, our glasses are going to be upside down and in the opposite rotation that we want. So we'll need to transpose and flip the image from top to bottom. Once that's done, we align the left eye X and Y and offset for the shape of the glasses so that they're overlapping the shape of the eye. For each face, we then append into our list a scaled glasses image that's been rotated to fit the proper face, and then a position where the glasses should be pasted to properly fit over the face. Finally, we iterate using MoviePy over each frame to generate our movie. The first thing we do is create a draw image using our original image with this convert function. This returns a new version of our image so we're not overwriting ourselves over and over again. For the first frame we don't want to draw a set of glasses so we skip that. Then we draw the transition to our glasses final position. Once our glasses meet their final position, we'll paste in the deal with it text, reset, resize to fit the center of the image. Finally, we create a MoviePie clip by passing in our frame generator and then write out a GIF. You can pass in a frames per second if you want a more fluidly animated GIF. So let's try out our software now. I've now created a deal with it dot gif and if I scroll through I can see I get the exact output I expected.